happening now. We've seen it over and over again. It comes from the city to the suburbs. It just continues to happen. But is there anything to keep people from going after these ATMs? See it all the time. And now as Lauren Wilson tells us, there's almost guaranteed solutions now to fix this problem. It's catching on in multiple cities across the country. These are the solution, and cities with similar crime issues have made it mandatory for store owners to have them. But here in Cleveland, it's not even on council's radar. Smashing through stores, stealing ATMs, and leaving owners with thousands of dollars in damages. There is a lot of work involved to rebuild what the damage was. Five months later, and Khaled Klub is still picking up the pieces. The robbery set him back $41,000, but he tells me he won't be fooled again. You learn as you go. You know, experience, that's what the experience is. I'm doing everything in my power to secure the store more. You don't want to give up right away. Before he puts the ATM in the back of the store this time, he's installing these bollards or barriers right in front of the store. It's a two for one with these things. If you put up barriers to keep people from running into your ATM on purpose, you're also going to put up these barriers are also going to stop people from accidentally driving into your store and hurting people. Rob Ryder has been tracking these crimes for years across the country. He says these stores are an ideal target, so protection is key. I found in cities like Miami and parts of Texas, it's been the law for years now. The ones that have put the bollards up in front of the doors are not experiencing any kind of this problem. So I checked in with city council. We are looking at other cities, what other cities have done, you know, because a lot of this stuff, you don't have to recreate the wheel. Councilman Polinsic told me he's brought this up as a possible solution. But when I spoke with the council president, he claims he's never heard of it. Making other law isn't going to stop them or, or keep them safer. But now that he knows, will anything be done? I'm certainly open to it, but it's not it's not something that is like current. There's no current ordinance before the council. While it might cost owners a couple thousand dollars up front, Klub tells me it's all worth it. It's well worth it. Obviously, it should be a requirement in a store like that. Councilman Polinsic told me he hopes to see something more concrete in place by late fall, but you have to wonder how plausible that could be when the rest of council is unaware of the issue. I also found state legislators are looking into the problem, focusing more on where the placement of these ATM machines should be. In Cleveland, for the now, I'm Lauren Wilson. And now to the best meteorologist in the world, Mr.